Good afternoon, Lord's Good afternoon. House family. Uh, giving honor to God and to our pastors of the Lord's House, Pastor Harris, Pastor Tom, Pastor Don. We are so happy to be here this afternoon, just yes. to share something that's on our on our hearts um, with the people um, out there in in the world. Um, my husband's just gonna give a little bit of what we're gonna talk about today, and then we we'll go from there. Thank you. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. It was laid upon my heart uh, that that we need to learn to be obedient. And then also to have obedience in our marriage is very important. But then, you know, we want to talk about the original, the origin of obedience. Where did this come from? How did it start? Mm -hmm. And while we think about that, uh, we go all the way back to Genesis. I'm going to read a, a passage in chapter 2, verse 15, then my wife's going to read a passage in 3, 1 through uh, three. One mm -hmm. through 3. In, in Genesis ch uh, chapter 1, verse 15, the Lord took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden. Remember that. But you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. Now, when we read that scripture, it, it's a command from God, uh, uh, something that he wants us to do. Uh, and I just, for a sidebar, when you read die um, in, in Genesis like that, it didn't mean die death of, you know, physical death, but uh, the death of separation from him, separation. Mm -hmm. So just keep in, keep in mind, keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. So now my wife's going to read uh, chapter 3. Okay. One okay. Three. So Genesis chapter 3, um, verses 1 through 3, and it reads, The serpent was clever, more mm -hmm. clever than any wild animal God had made. He spoke to the woman. Do you understand that God told you not to eat from any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, not at all. We can eat from the trees in the garden. It's only about the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, don't eat from it. Don't even touch it or you'll surely die. Now, Ooh. now, when we read that again, when we read that before, it, he, he just told them not to eat from that tree. Mm -hmm. Now, here we have people adding on and all of that stuff, but that's don't not the, <laughs> yeah, don't touch it and all this stuff. So we, we, we understand that when we're given instructions on how to do things, we kind of like uh, take it and run with it and do other things with it. But God wanted us to stay away from that tree. And there, there lies the first time that we were disobedient to mm -hmm. the word of God uh, and manipulated by a voice or something evil mm -hmm. telling us that we should go, you know, opposite of what God is saying or questioning what he said. Yes, and yeah. so here lies the disobedience. Mm -hmm. And then as we read further in that scripture, we're not going to read it uh, for time's sake. But if we go further, um, the rules were, you know, the, you know, the rule became, you know, oh, well, we're going to try it anyway. And we tried it anyway. And the fact of the matter is the responsibility to that was for the man to protect his family and his wife. We're going to get further into that also. Mm -hmm. But uh, but the disobedient part is that he didn't listen to what God had told him. Because when we read it, God took man and put him into the garden. And so he gave the instruction to the man. And it was our, res our responsibility to take and, and share that with our wife, the woman he gave us, and say, God said, this is what God said, and this is how we're going to live our lives. Mm -hmm. And what happens is, because we were disobedient, our family becomes disobedient. And because our family becomes disobedient, anybody alongside of us or behind us is disobedient. And right. so here's where disobedience should rear this ugly head. Mm -hmm. And then we went into other stuff, other sins, blaming and lying mm -hmm. and all this other stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let me, let me just read the definition um, of obedience or, or some mm -hmm. information about obe obedience. Obedience is defined as a dutiful or submissive compliance to the commands of one in authority. Yeah. Using this definition, we see the elements of biblical obedience. 
dutiful means that it is our obligation to obey God just as Jesus fulfilled his duty to the Father by dying on the cross for our sin. Submissive indicates that we yield to our God's will. Commands speaks of the scriptures in which God has clearly delineated his instructions. Mm -hmm. The one in authority is God himself, whose authority is total and unequivocal. For the Christian, obedience means complying with everything God has commanded. It is our duty to do so. So we need to be obedient as God commanded. That's in the word. That ain't that ain't the Heinz is saying that. That's no. in the word. And it's so it's so important that we know first of all, we know the origin, how it originated. Mm -hmm. Then we know that God gave the command. Yeah. He gave the command for the for the sky, the sun to shine, the moon to rise mm -hmm. and set, the seas to stay where they are. Yeah. He gave that command, which is such important, mm -hmm. is that we need to be obedient to what he said. He said, Don't. So don't. Yeah, yeah. He said, do, then do. You know, so we, here we here we see that it's important that we follow the commands of God and and we, we be able to, you know, understand what he is saying to us as his children. Mm -hmm. You know, obey my word. Yeah. yeah so absolutely. so as we go along and and we and we study in the word of God, we also see that the, the that the law that was given for Moses got so uh, rigid, rigid that we couldn't live it. We couldn't, we couldn't command, mm -hmm. we couldn't follow his laws. We couldn't do it. And so God took stepped back and said, okay, my children are having a hard time following the instructions that I'm giving them. Let me give them a new command. Yes, yes, he didn't yes, take yes. away the commands. He added a new one. You know, he added one that mm -hmm. we can follow. And he sent a substitute. Because even with the, the, the sacrifices of the lambs and the, the bulls and all of this incense burning and all of this stuff, it still wasn't enough to, to, to cover our sins. Mm -hmm. So he sent our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to cover our sins and to bring a new command and a new understanding. Um, and, it, and it talked about love. And he, gave, he came with grace. And he came with, with, with glory and honor. And he came to 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 help us be uh, better at, at at our walk and understanding. So we're going to come with another scripture where Jesus says, "I bring you as a new command." Is that what it say? Yes, this um, command is found in I have Mark chapter twelve, and it's verse thirty. It says, "Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul." And with all your mind and with all your strength. The second one is this love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Right. So this is a that's is this is the new command mm -hmm. that God has given us for us to love. And 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 as we relate that to our marriage, it's important to love one another in but, our marriage. I'm sorry to cut you off, but you know what? Sometimes um, in some marriages they they people do have difficulty with Loving their spouse at all times. Yes, we, we don't always get along. We may have disagreements, but that doesn't mean that we don't love our spouse at all times. Well, you know what? I, I don't think that there is a, there's no way around the love part. Uh, I think the pastor mm -hmm. talked about that today. Uh, the, the love part goes beyond all the, you know, the bumping of heads and not agreeing. Mm -hmm. You know, the love, love conquers a multitude. Yes, and yes. so we love regardless of how we feel about a situation. Because listen, we two different people. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't agree all the time. We don't. You know, we we sometimes on different different uh, roads. You know, but the but at the end of the day, the common denominator for all you math math geniuses is, okay. is that God and God said to love, mm -hmm. and so. Even it, it talks about even in your anger, don't let it sun go down on your anger. Right. It said love. Right. Even you know because you know I, I want to go with left, you want to go right. We mm -hmm. still end up supposed to love each other. Okay, That's so right. let's come to an understand. Why do you want to go right? Why do you want to go left? You know why are you upset? You know and why is things going on in, in that you want to you know that you don't you're, you're so worried about you know and so and so love conquers all of that because you say well you know what regardless of how you feel about me I love you no matter you know no matter what side of the room you want I love you you know mm -hmm. and that's that's marriage 
And then it also should be able to go into your world, into the world and say, just like the pastor said today, is that even if, even, be, even though I'm going through this or we're not agreeing on this, we, we, we're agreeing to disagree and I still love you. Mm. You know what? One thing that you, you mentioned that as a husband and wife, you come together and you talk about things. So for me, that's communication. You know, you can't have a good marriage without having good communication. You have to talk to each other. You have to ask questions. You have to listen to one another. And all of that comes together so that you understand what the other person is saying. You're able to, you know, articulate it and just read into what they're saying. And, and that's important. Yeah, and communication is the key. Uh, God communicated to Adam a command. Mm -hmm. And he communicated to his son, this is what I want you to do. Yeah. He followed his instructions. Mm -hmm. See, with Adam... He 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 veered away from God's instructions. With 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 Jesus, he came close to God. He he came to be an understanding of God's commands, and he mm -hmm. even though his flesh, which always gets in the way, Adam's flesh got in the way. Right. Jesus' flesh got in the way, but at the end of the day, Adam fell, but Jesus stood tall. That's right. And so what are we learning? We're learning that in our marriage, if we stand tall and let God's will be done in our lives, then we'll be able to live and, and mm -hmm. be better. Mm -hmm. You know, and listen, married people, if you just got married or you're getting married, it's not, it doesn't start just like that. Yeah. It starts with practice. It starts with saying focus. First of all, if you don't know the commands, you ain't going to be able to follow them. If you don't know what the word of God is saying about marriage, you're not going to be able to to uh, articulate or live it. So you need to read read your Bible. What? Read your Bible, read it together, read it separately. Just you just have to read it so that you get an understanding of what it is you're supposed to do and how are you supposed to do it. And that, and that's very important. It is important, important. and it's important that she, she said read it Read it together, read it separate. But you know what? Be on one accord. Mm -hmm. You know, this marriage and our marriage, I could just speak for us. I, I try to stay in the word. Am I perfect? No. No. Maybe a little bit. But uh, I'm not perfect. But I stay in God's word. God's word is perfect. Mm -hmm. And so when I approach my wife with a situation, God's word is leading before me. Right. Just like her. And I say, listen, it's time to get in the word. Let's sit down and just do something. Let's talk about something. I'll mm -hmm. bring up conversations and we'll just talk about it. And that means us. That gets us, brings us closer and closer to God. Mm -hmm. And so, and so the enemy still wants to attack, but he ends up running to a barrier because God's angels is protecting right, us. Protecting you know, and he and he and we recognize when things are happening that is 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 the enemy trying to infiltrate our marriage because mm -hmm. it's built on love. Mm -hmm. So if your marriage is built on love and the Word of God, it's going to be hard for the enemy to rip it up and tear it down. Yeah. So we're going to just tell you because we're running out of time, but we just want to let you know, stay in the word of God. Be obedient yes. to his holy word. Yes. When you're obedient to the word of God and the commands of God and the decrees of God, yeah. love your neighbor, neighbor as, as you love yourself. Love God. And then when you're in your marriage, you're going to love your spouse. You're going to know right? without a doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, I seen the pastor today. He, he shows some 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 tears because he loves his wife. Yeah. I love my yeah. wife. I ain't trying to be showing no tears right now, but <laughs> I love my wife. All right, we are so happy that you had the opportunity to to join us today. And you know the topic again: obedience in marriage. In marriage, and we pray that you learn something and you know pass it on, share it with somebody else. Yeah, Sherry. Thank you so much. Well, let's pray out. You know, Heavenly Father, we come to you right now thanking you for our marriage and all those who are married and those who want to be married. Lord, we thank you that you have shown us that in love we can conquer all. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you that we are obedient to your word that you laid upon us mm -hmm. to talk about obedience. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our pastors who bring forth the word constantly mm -hmm. to build us up and to teach us how to be faithful children of God. Mm -hmm. So as we go forth today, we ask you to touch your, touch your people, touch your family, touch your children, touch all those who are in search 
for love and, and kindness and joy. Lord, let them know that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot mm -hmm. heal. We thank you and we praise your holy name and we give you honor and praise. In Jesus' name we say, mm. amen. Amen, amen. Yes. All right, and that's it. For from Beyond, Beyond marriage. marriage. Marriage, 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 marriage.